packages here. It is my portable, my Zenny portable washing machine and spin dryer. So we're just gonna go ahead, open it up, and see if it works properly. actual washing machine let me just look at it and make sure you know there's no damage or anything to it um okay watch out watch out for me okay okay washing machine all right let me check the bottom all right so this is the actual portable washing machine this is the inside and let's see the little filter thing I mean the vent whatever it's called how do I get that out oh you have to press it kind of hard y'all yeah okay so you have to press that kind of hard but that's where the lint should be um so I'm just gonna pop that right back in there it's, yeah. oh, I don't think it's in there good it's not There we go. Now that's in there. All right. Okay, so here's the hose that you connect right there. Um, this little thing that you press down whenever you're ready for your spin cycle. I'm just gonna leave that in there. And I'm gonna move this to my bathroom. So I'll be right back, guys. So I have my portable washing machine in my bathtub. Um, and I'm gonna, like the hose that it came with, it is, you know, too small or whatever for my faucet and, you know, the sink. So y'all, I know I look horrible, but I literally did not put on any makeup. Anywho. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna just fill it up with, um, I'm gonna fill it up with my, you know, shower head. I'm just gonna drop it in there. Actually, I'll turn the camera on. Hang on. But yeah, I'm just gonna drop it in there and fill it up. Uh, I'm gonna insert a picture. There should be a picture, hopefully, if I can edit it right. I don't know. Um, that shows the, uh, the water levels, the low, the medium, and the high levels. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, just do a small load, so I'll probably just go to the low level, but I'll show you. So I'm just filling it up with my shower head. <laughs> Alright, watch out. Watch out for your sisters. You only use like a quarter of a cap full of detergent so I've already poured it in there and I'm just gonna insert it and I actually got a little bit uh I feel like I got a little bit more than oh god why my phone falling there <laughs> There we go. But yeah, I feel like I got a little bit more than maybe a small load. So I made, got just a little bit higher, you know? Just a little bit higher than that, that low level that it had just to reach. Um, but before I do that, you know, I will, I'm going to go ahead and put some clothes in.
we are just gonna, you know, let that finish. I put it on like nine minutes. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and let that finish washing. And then I'm gonna drain the water. I'll show, I'll show you everything that I do. But we're gonna drain the water and, you know, uh, put, fill it up with more water so that we can rinse it off, get all the soap out, um, drain it again, and then we will put it into the, um, the spin dryer. So stay tuned. Smaller load instead of adding more water just because this is my first time using it and I wanted to make sure you know that it worked properly I didn't want to have like a full load of wet sopping wet clothes you know um, and unable to dry them because maybe you know the machine didn't work properly um, so but so far so far everything's good and I'm so happy with my purchase. Like it came super fast. I got it from Amazon. This is the Zinni Twin Tub Portable Washing Machine. And it was estimated. because I don't want it, I don't want the cord to you know touch the water. All right, so and then this is gonna just go right down here. Maybe I should slide this. Okay, slide it. That's gonna go right down there. And from here, I'm gonna switch this to drain. So it starts draining. Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. Look at this. It is disgusting. Disgusting. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, so all the water's out. Let's see. So then I'm gonna go ahead and refill it with some more cold water. to switch it back from drain back to normal or either your saw otherwise you'll be wasting water <laughs> all right so it looks like it is yeah it's at the fill line 
or actually just a little bit past the fill line, but it's all good. It is all good. All right. So then, like I said, I'm gonna close that up and then I'm just gonna, hmm, I'm just gonna do it for just a couple minutes. Just because I want to make sure, you know. I love how it goes both ways. And then we will get a few pieces of clothing and drop them in here. Well, and yeah, like as you can tell, these clothes are just like sopping wet, like full of water. Um, let's see. I'm gonna attempt these. I'll wait if I can get them out. Um. This pair of pants right here, which are my five-year-old son's pants. So I'm going to attempt them in here. Let's see, I can probably get another onesie. One of his shirts. Mm. Let me get Cambry's. I think that's probably, well, let me get this tank top. All right, so tank top. I think that's good. I don't want to, you know, overstuff it or anything. So then we're going to just push this in here and push down. Oh, you can't see, can you? Okay, so push down. Um, I don't want to overfill it. So we're just going to try it on that and we're going to put it on two minutes. And as you can see, it's draining water as it's been. And you can't open the side. If you open it, it stops for child protection, which is great because I have three. <laughs> I have three kids, so yeah. No ma'am. No ma'am. Oh yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Still draining just a little. Let me see if I can. I thought, especially the spin bar, I thought that was going to be so extremely loud that it's going to, you know, my neighbors were going to start complaining or something. But it's pretty quiet once it stabilizes. Yeah. And then I have, you know, just a little bit more clothes over there. And I can probably do that in one, you know, spin cycle. So I can probably put all of that in here. I just don't want to overstuff it, you know, it's my first time using it. Uh, fresh out the box, still has plastic on it. <laughs> Didn't want to mess it up before, you know, I got my use out of it. Um, yeah, let me check this hose again just to make sure there's no more additional water it's trying to come out. And there it is. Okay. 
This is like a gravity base. It's so good, Mama. So it's just like, you, you see how that is kind of coming up? You have to lean it down, downward, for the water to actually drain out. If it's you know, at the end of the spin cycle where it's almost done. Hang on, Mama. Okay, come on, baby. Ooh, wait. Yes. Okay, Mommy got you. Yeah, you just wanted me to hold you. Hmm. All right. And it's stopping. It just reached zero. Okay, go ahead and let it finish its thing. Right, and it stopped. So let's look and see how well it spun the clothes. Put that back there. Oh, okay. And this, I mean, it is damp. It is damp, but I get out most of the water. So that's impressive. What I'm really curious about are the pants. And of course you can see the pants are wet, but you can see some spots got drier than others. Like right here. Yeah, this did really, like I'm, I'm really impressed y'all. Really impressed. Let me see, her pants, her little 18 month pants. Yeah, now see this is nearly dry. I'm just gonna, you know, hang these clothes up on a dryer. I mean, not a dryer, <laughs> on a hanger to dry. I do have a portable uh, dryer that is coming. I got it from homedepot.com. It is the uh, Magic Chef. I think it's a 1.5 cubic foot dryer. I just needed something small. Um, so it's supposed to be here by Thursday. And of course I'll do another tutorial for that. But yeah, these clothes, they came out amazingly dry. Like I'm impressed. And I love it. So there you are. So, I just got done using my new Zenny Twin Tub portable washing machine for the very first time. And y'all, I am amazed by this thing. First of all, I've been in this apartment for five whole years. How did I not know about a device like this? Like it could have saved me hundreds on, you know, trips to the laundromat. Like, cause I, it's such a hassle. I have three kids. So every time I go to the laundromat, like I literally have to get all of our clothes, you know, loaded up into the car, all three of them loaded into the car myself, make sure I have the washing detergent, um, dryer sheets, um, you know, money, um, all kind of stuff. Like, so this is just gonna make my life a whole lot easier. Um, and I'm so excited that I found out about it. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> uh, she was the one who was like, you know what? This looks like an interesting device. You should, you know, you should look into getting it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she mentioned it and I, you know, I started doing my research. I started watching so many different YouTube reviews that I initially got confused on what type I wanted. Um, However, the YouTube reviews for the Zenny uh, Twin Tub Portable Washing Machine seem to be pretty decent. What you want? Huh? <laughs> seem to be pretty decent. And um, the reviews on Amazon, uh, you know, were pretty good, you know, for the most recent. I always check like the most recent and then the critical ones to see what exactly, you know, people didn't like about it. Um, but this one, I love it. Um, <laughs> I don't have any cons to it. I mean, the pros, of course, I'm going to save money. Um, I'm going to be able to do my laundry inside of my own apartment. Like, I don't have to leave my house for anything. Like, do y'all understand that? Do y'all know, like, how much of a blessing that is? Because um, that's a hassle. Like, I've done it for the past five years. And... <laughs> I'm just, I'm so thankful that my mom, you know, told me about this product. She didn't know much about it, but she said, you know, look into it or whatever, because she knows, like, I like to do my research. Um, but you want to, you want to be on camera, mama? Let me see. Yeah, me she. Oh, they see you. 
she likes to make her presence known y'all but uh y'all she busted my lip with her head last night do you see that it's so ugly <laughs> but um but yeah as far as the product i have no cons as of now hopefully you know it'll stay that way and then like i said i do have a uh, magic chef portable dryer 1.5 cubic foot portable dryer that's coming it should be here by thursday i'm hoping this was supposed to be here by thursday that same thursday but uh you see it's already here i've already used it um so shipping was extremely fast um i will put the link to this specific one in the description box and i'll also put the link to uh, my portable dryer um even though i don't have it yet and i haven't tested it but <laughs> I will, you know, I'll still do it. You know, you can check out the reviews or you know, <laughs> maybe purchase it for yourself. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe decide to, to create your own video. But, um, so yeah, that's all I have right now. Um, as of right now, it is a 10 in my book. Um, I mean, it was very easy to use. Like I said, like watch videos on YouTube uh, in order to know how to use it because the instruction manual I don't know if they're foreign or what, but the English is like real choppy in that book. I mean, I've looked through it, even though I didn't need it. I looked through it just to, you know, see if there was something maybe I needed to know that the videos didn't show. She wants me to pick her up. Look at that smile. <laughs> Look at that smile. Hey, mama. Hey. but um so yeah um as of right now this is a 10 if you are considering it uh i say go ahead and get it um now i did have a tough time deciding between this one which is a manual version and like a an automatic version um which does all the the rinse cycling and you know automatic draining on its own like literally you just start the machine fill your water uh put your detergent in your clothes in and you can walk away and it'll finish it just like a you know like a regular uh full size standard uh washing machine um and it was about they were about 100 to 100 and i'll say probably 100 to 200 dollars more than the one that i got um but i mean i'm used to doing the manual you know manual part as far as like loading my clothes into the car driving to the location unloading them then loading them in, like I'm, I'm used to that stuff anyway so i was like you know what this right here just the fact that i get to stay in my own apartment and do this is gonna benefit me like i don't need all that extra stuff like i'm not that lazy and I'm, look i'm not calling anybody lazy but i it's not gonna make that big of a difference for me is what i'm saying um uh oh you dropped it um but yeah so you know give it a go i'm impressed that spin dryer like it it spun the mess out of my clothes um like i said they are they're probably dry right now because it's been about 45 minutes since i hung them up so i actually need to go check them but um yeah they were fairly dry when they came out and there's a pan a pair of um there's a pair of my oldest son's pants in there they're not like jean like material but they're still pretty thick cloth material and i thought those were gonna be just like sopping wet stop it sopping wet um uh, stop stop i thought they were gonna be sopping wet but those came out drier than some of the other articles um so i don't know i guess i just gotta you know play it by sight and feel or sight and touch that's what i meant i'm sorry y'all <laughs> um but yeah so give it a try like i said i'll put the links down in the description area and you know if you like this video let me know if you have any questions about it that i didn't answer let me know um i'm pretty quick you know with responding to uh questions or comments when i get them <laughs> which is not very often um but yeah um once again i am i still have my craft business i did kind of take a break on that um but yeah i'm still making you know my little shocker bracelets and uh well i didn't make this one um but the 
personalized jewelry, like the earrings and the necklaces, the custom dominoes, drunken Uno and space games. Um, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing all of that still. Um, I just haven't really been pushing it as much. Like I, I kind of took a break from everything. Um, and I'm trying to get more into my photography business because I kind of felt like that. I pushed that to the back burner, so to speak, um, since my craft business kind of took off. But I am not working for anyone right now except for myself. So I'm about to push, you know, all three of my little side hustles as hard as I can. Um, you know, KJB Creations, KJB Photography, and my mobile notary business um, and notary signing agent. Um, so yeah, I'm about to push all of that as hard as I can and, you know, try, do my best to continue being able to survive on just working for myself because these companies and myself, we don't work out. <laughs> But that's all I got. Y'all um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and y'all have a great day. Bye.